Welcome back to the Walking Dead mission. Yeah, it wasn't so good, but look, our choices last time, because the episode actually ended very quickly and I didn't expect it to. I put it to an outro and then it was like, oh, it's finished. <laughs> but there you go, I think bashing Randall's head in was a good idea. So, did we keep Pete with us or let him go off on his own? Not many people let him go, I'm surprised. I wonder if we could have kept him alive, if he's even dead. Did you pick up the phone or go after the footsteps in the hallway? Lots of us picked up the phone, that's sensible. Phone only rings for a certain amount of time, then you're stuffed. Did you reveal to Paige that you nearly committed suicide? Um, no, we didn't. We expressed sympathy for the kids, because that seemed to be a better option, right? Paige, that was her name. How did you handle the radio call from Norma? Uh, 30, about a third of us picked up the radio and spoke with her directly. Wow, more people. I guess it was a third spoke directly, a third gave it to Randall, and a third just kept silent, maybe. What did you do to Randall? About half of us bashed his head in. Interesting. I wonder how many of those were motivated by anger at what he was saying. Whoops. Anger at what he was saying rather than anger at just him in general. Because, again, for me, it wasn't anger in general that... Um, sorry, it was anger in general at him that pissed me off. It wasn't the... Uh, it wasn't the fact that he was going, Oh, your kids, they suck, they're dead. Uh. Anyway, it's fine. No. I'm going to plunge my coffee. Hey. Beautiful Brazilian coffee. Have we not got Randall subtitles? The yeah, there we go. That's your brother. He is now. Haha. <laughs> oh, delicious hot coffee. If you're sure about this. Oh, I love mornings. Don't worry. I've got this. Yeah, exactly. He said he's got this, so he's got it, right? And he's still not dead because Randall admitted that, didn't he? They, they had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Yeah, first chance. She said she gives you a first chance. Oh no, our kids are there. Oh wait, Show no, they're not. What is it? Has, has anyone in real life had hallucinations like that? And can you possibly find it real? Doesn't logic just dictate, well, clearly they're not my kids standing there with darkened faces and all that. Yeah, that was satisfying and disgusting, but satisfying. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I was in the heat at the moment. But yeah, does anyone else, does, can anyone describe that? Can anyone sort of say if they had if they've had hallucinations like that, and even though logic would dictate that they're not real, you just believe them. Is that a thing? Because it just seems so ridiculous. But, you know, if that's the case, then my apologies. <clears throat> uh... Ooh, two weeks earlier. Uh-oh. Time for a prequel. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Nope, Mr. If you Toad. Do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. It's fine. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. I just needed some space. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Way. Freezing my ass off. Not ass, it's ass. Yeah. Listen Coffee to what he's saying. That's a suitable mug. I like that. Go on. Oh. You'll be glad you did. Yeah, I'll take a sip. Thank you. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Bourbon in black coffee's actually really nice. Maybe I should have that. Hmm. No. Got work to do today. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. I've got better jokes than that. I lot of them when I first got on board. 
But they grow on you. Yeah, do they? It's disgusting. Like mold <laughs> they are. Nice, that's just yeah, what I was thinking. Sorry, that's shit, isn't it? Nah. They're growing on me too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. I've caught them it's as well. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Mm. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. Good. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Oh. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Ugh, what do you say to that? A few weeks later I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. Yeah. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Nice, that's much better. Us. <clears throat> be sure. Nice to have you there. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> you might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Oh, I hope we get to play cards. <laughs> we won't. Wasn't tell one of Telltale's earlier games that poker night or something? Where you all sat around playing poker, but you learned stories of the people you were playing with. I never played it, but it looked quite fun. Are you sure you want to do this? Oh dear. I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. It's not good. Look on the other side, it's much worse. Yeah. Oh Yuck. god, he's dead. <laughs> How could you? If he's dead, so are we. He said horrible things about my kids. No. He got what he deserved. Norma's not going to care why you did it. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now, I wish I'd been the one to do it. Ah, uh, well. Sam. It was my dad, my family. I should have killed Randall myself. You're not a killer, Sam. Don't become one. Yeah, there you go. You don't know what I am. All right. Uh. Nice. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He did. It's true. He killed. I know. I know. You don't know. Wait. What the hell? You hear that? Yes. Didn't sound like Norma. Michelle, it's Pete. Oh no, they brought him Please as a hostage. Something's happened. Crap. I don't have much time. We need to talk. I'm right here. But it's a trap. Oh, God. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people, they 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 have the crew. Sadiq Oak Humberto. Hmm. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I want to talk I'm to them. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. All right, we'll do it but somewhere. Anything Secret. To Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? <laughs> Shit. He's still alive. What the hell was that? Look, <laughs> you don't owe us anything. I just want to keep them safe. That's my deal, Michonne. I understand. Come on, we've got to find some clever That's plan. That's what I like to hear. 
We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. I'm slightly starting to regret that now. Whoops. Big uh, lag spike. Come on, Telltale. Why you do this to me? Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, we could keep him alive. As a zombie. Of course. He's not, his brain's not fully bashed in. Interesting. I like it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to have removed this uh, song as well for the copyright with the YouTube song remover. It worked last time, so I'm going to sing along to it, see if it still works. God no, I I don't know how it goes. Put a gun in my hand. Why in my bed? In my hand. In my head. Was it done for freedom? For, for redemption? Was it for remain? Was it lots of zombies and orange eyes? The characters were Stephen Moore and the environments were Eric Gosser. This is going to turn you all off, isn't it? How many of you have skipped through me doing this? Oh well. Why did love put a gun in my hand? Choreography, Brian Lynn Weller. Why did love put a love put a gun in my hand? Uh, yeah, deal with that YouTube song remover. I'm interested to see how that works. <laughs> what we deserve, yeah. Well, we know she's okay because she lives to the show, so, you know. Maybe we'll find a way out. Why isn't he struggling? She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. What I did to him. Nice. At least he can walk, right? Yeah, he is a walker. He call that walking. Well, he's a walker. Norma wants her brother. Let's make a joke. It's not like there's another option here. We just need to fool Norma long enough to get my friends back. Then what? Yeah, I don't know what then. <laughs> we'll improvise. It's fine. Ah, uh, I've been Norma's so silly this alone. playthrough. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. Yeah, that was bad. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. Stop. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Mm. Yeah, I've done some silly choices in this. Made some silly choices. I think when I'm playing Sam. a new frontier, I'll do it sensibly. I got carried away here. He's not going it's okay. Just stand there watching her. You're gonna hurt yourself. We'll help. God damn it. Ah. Sam, stop. Delicious coffee. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we gonna give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. That's all I can give him. There is time. That's... I understand. 
You should be buried with your mom. Right, but that... we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking. My you... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you. Fair enough. If you don't want to come, you don't want to come. That's fine. It's a shame. And you'll be killed, but... <laughs> Oh no, our children. I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. So what happens when Norma comes? I'll ask her that though. With everything we have. Eh, could work. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. She's had a good character arc, actually, Sam. Well, I'm gonna help her. Come on. Oh, I can't wait to see the end and see how many callous bastards didn't help poor old Sam here. Mmm. Egg Harbor Cafe. Atlanta, Georgia mug. I know it's stupid. Yeah. But I have to finish this. My favorite mug. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Second favorite old mug. duffel bag. Should look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. All right, sounds good. I've got that song in my head now. Why is it for redemption? Maybe I should just leave it in. It's not like I'm going to get any ad revenue on these anyway, because it's all full of dangerous shit. Uh, the, sorry, not dangerous shit. James? Who's, oh, right. It's all full of uh, blood and gore and stuff. James, what you doing? Gets off. I, I was just. You were just nothing. I don't know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. <laughs> and? How does it feel? It's it's heavy. Can I help? I forgot I this kid existed. Sure, go ahead. Uh, so keep Both him slide in there. entertained slide forward. and help him in the future. How would they just die like that? Greg and Dad. Aww. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. Sometimes, sometimes bad luck just happens. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta... I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about Dad, he can't get away with it. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. I regret that. If, Sorry. If she... They can't hurt her, too. You have to stop them. Sam needs you right now. Yeah. Go. Help her. That might help her leave the house, but it also might mean that she's got Here. a brother with her when she I dies. I don't know if I'm ready. You know, to have one. Yeah, give it to Sam. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Lovely. Sorry, you get to hear all my sipping and swallowing because the microphone's quite, <laughs> quite she loud. Don't always come to this. Yeah, I know, me too. Mm. Ah! Oh! Fuck, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, I was so chilled out. What do you want to do? We don't have time for this. Get him moving. Oh. Hmm. Make sure Paige has ammo. Well, where's Paige? Pagey Poo. You got. 
I guess she's upstairs because that's the only option I have. So, go on up, go upstairs. Oh no, I suppose I could go through here. Yeah, I can. Family picture. Oh look, it's my daughter's. Oh look, it's not. There's the mum, ill. Right. I'm not going to look at it a second time in case it goes all creepy again. Let's go through here. Page. Pagey. Uh-oh, there's blood on the table. Right behind you. <laughs> God for that. Let's play the gramophone. We need a nice uh, soundtrack to our killing. Okay, that's better. Thought there wasn't going to be any music then. It's a really intense song. The lyrics are just like. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, I wish they didn't have black eyes and shadowy faces, because that makes them all the scarier. Okay, come on. Ooh, an iron poker. That could be useful. Oh. Not going to be able to look at that the same way again. Oh, what after using it on Sam? Right, Paige must be upstairs. Let's go. Oh, Mary, don't you weave? Oh, Mary, don't you weave? Don't you weave? Oh, Mary, don't you weave? This staircase reminds me of The Walking Dead uh, Season 1. Uh, the game, Season 1. Do you remember where you had those... Well, none of you have seen it yet, but you go to that family in the farmhouse and Is that? you find that they're doing things to people. I just caught a fly with one hand. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Come on. They're not real. That's cool. I'm not saying anything. They're just a hallucination. Ignore them. <laughs> My god, that was a dangerous time to sip hot coffee. Open the door. Oh, he's so cute. That's pretty music. That's what I was thinking. I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. Yeah, no need to scare it has him. To. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. <laughs> Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise, even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Yep. Yeah. I still get scared. Sometimes. But my dad's not scared. As you all know. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Your dad? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? Ah, uh, he's got to learn. I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. All right, don't. No, I don't believe you. What is it? Please. 
please. It happened very fast. I promise you, I never felt a thing. Did my dad be become one of them? No. It it's what happens, right? <laughs> he did, didn't he? No, your dad didn't become one of them. Yeah, that's the best option. It's still your dad. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him he was shot not in the head. Fair. Alex, you need to be strong. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him it's going to be okay because that's a lie. I can't. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> Right, off we toddle. Look at the height marker. James Fairbanks. Alex Fairbanks. Yeah. Right. Oh no, that's where he is, isn't it? Okay, let's leave. Ah! I was playing this because it's supposed to be relaxing. My God. Oh, my head. Sorry, everyone, you probably just died. <laughs> that was so horrible. Let's go in here, because we know they're not there. Ah, Paige, finally. Have some ammo. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. And you see two creepy little girls run out of the room. Or did you miss that? Paige. Oh, go on, let's talk to Paige. Were you Just... able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? Shut your face. I've never seen her like this. She's... She's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. Yeah, but we've got a house. I don't know why Sam thinks she can That's protect That's protection, here. right? I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. What do you mean, same as me? I know what it's like running from whatever. I spent most of my life doing that. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn though. I just um, hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You can't leave James and Alex. Yeah. They've lost enough today. They have. I know. I know. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... Oh, Paige, don't you don't really leave. Ah. Okay. Well, we've sowed the seeds. Let's go over and see the creepy children, shall we? Maybe we just shouldn't. Just go back downstairs. Oh my god. Super Greg. Oh, oh Greg. Greg, yeah. He was a bit of a wet tissue though, wasn't he? Uh let's look at the photo. Let's not rifle through their drawers. Oh. They look really happy together. They do. Oh, go on, let's have a look in the drawers. Might be something useful. Ooh. Let's read the letter. They're both dead now, so it's okay. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. It said more than that. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help. Oh, God, it's a suicide note. It's true. Can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. Wow. I love you more than anything, Sophie. Ouch. I'm very glad to say I've never had to receive or read a suicide note. Um, so 
So I'm lucky in that regard, but boy, that's got to be tough. I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. Was she a lawyer? Yeah. Did not know that. Oh my god! Oh, why did you do that? Glad I missed it. Right, go downstairs. Just the noise made me jump. Ooh. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash!